If Brave and Cars 2 taught us anything, it's that Pixar is mortal. So now we return to the world of Monsters, Inc., a beloved franchise, and that's... that's not a bad move. Monsters University. So Monsters University is a prequel to Monsters, Inc. in which Mike Wazowski and Sullivan, they're young now and they're in college and they're learning to be scary monsters so they can scare children, so children will scream so they can power their world. Now Monsters, Inc. is one of my favorite Pixar movies. I loved that movie back in the day. And then you watch it now, like over a decade later and you're like, still good? It just holds up on so many levels. So was Monsters University as good as Monsters, Inc.? No. It's hard to be on the same level as a class that we granted Toy Story 3 did it, but is it good? Yeah. It has its familiar formula, which is a good formula for a movie like this, but it's really safe. It's the internship with monsters. It, it really is what it is. These guys are in college. They're the underdogs. They need to work together to triumph, you know, so they go through this decathlon of challenges to prove that they're the best. However, the internship wasn't the first movie to do it. Monsters University will not be the last. Movies use that formula because the formula does actually work. I did like how Mike Wazowski and Sullivan, they did play off each other really well. Mike's the bookworm, you know, he's like, all right, I got to study my books and be the best scary monster I can be. Sullivan's a legacy child. His parents were a big deal, so his name carries weight. So he's like, I don't need to try. I, I'm Sullivan. And I liked how the movie showed that only carries you so far, but it also shows that you need more than book smarts to excel in the world. Book smarts will get you the A pluses in class, yeah. But when you carry it out to the world, you need more than that. You need experience. You need this other thing. The world does operate like that. I like the fact that this movie's like, no, we're not going to BS you here. That's this is how it works. There were also these cool throwbacks to Monsters, Inc. Some of them were really shoehorned in the movie. You're like, all right, you wrote that in there just to have some little quirky one-line tie-in. Sometimes that starts to irritate me. I'm like, you could have done it in a more clever way than just someone saying something. But you can't help but go, oh, yeah, I know what they're talking about. I know what they're talking about because I like Monsters, Inc. Funny thing about this movie is the movie looks like it wraps up. You're like, oh, okay, this is the end of the movie. That's fine. Then you realize it has another half an hour to go and you're like, whoa, don't push it now. I don't want to walk out of this movie feeling like it was a half an hour too long or anything. But if I'm going to be honest with you, the last half hour of this movie is my favorite part of the movie. If the previous hour and a half of this movie felt like the last half hour of this movie, this movie would be superb. I'm serious about that. The first hour and a half is enjoyable, yeah. But the last half hour felt more like what I liked about Monsters, Inc. Cool to know that that feeling is in the movie. It still has good comedic timing. More than comedic timing, I'd say it has clever moments. It's not like I was laughing out loud, like I was dying laughing in the movie. There were a lot of times I was like, yeah, that was pretty clever. So Monsters University was really enjoyable. I had fun with it. It's going to appeal more to kids than adults for sure. You still walk out going, that was a lot of fun. It was a really good movie. I'm going to go a little higher than you might have thought I was going to go, but I will say I would buy Monsters University on Blu-ray. I feel like Pixar's getting their stride back. You walk out of Monsters University going, okay, you guys still get it. All right, so Monsters University, have you seen it? And what did you think of it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.